I'm Abraham Joy, Associate Professor of Polymer Science at the University of Akron. I'm Tanmay Jain, I'm a PhD candidate at the University of Akron. I'm Amal Narayanan, I am a PhD candidate at the University of Akron. So there's a significant opioid epidemic around the country and especially in Ohio. And one of the problems that are neglected in all of these is that first responders, when they go to help an overdose victim, oftentimes they themselves get accidental exposure to opioids. So we're trying to develop a product that can tell a first responder very quickly, give them a yes or no answer to the presence of opioids in their vicinity. Before the competition, we were more involved in the research aspects of it, that means the uh, chemical reactions and optimizing uh, the efficiency of the process. But after the competition, we started looking at it as a direct, how is it directly useful to the end user. So we started incorporating pr um, principles of cost, effectiveness, and time scale in which this thing has to be deployed. So since the competition uh, from last time, we've been able to re-engineer the mat to give you much quicker reaction times. We've changed substrate several times and come up with a substrate that is actually flexible, mechanically robust. And the product is here that we, you see here. This contains a mat that is orange in color first. And in the presence of an opioid, when it's um, picked up, it will show a dark blue color. And so this competition has enabled us to keep sight of the cost of the device or the product. The, uh, efficiency of the product and that it has to work immediately when an officer and it, it uh, integrates well with their workflow and so that's what we've been able to do since last. So I think we stand uh, a good chance at the one million uh, prize because we have come up with a product that is uh, safe, it's cost effective, it works instantaneously, it's very uh, easy to use, we've been able to bring it to a very low cost standpoint and to become very efficient. That means the, uh, the reaction times are so low that they can get a yes, no answer instantaneously. So it, addre it addresses very critical need that the first responders have that no other product uh, seems to address at this point. There are hundreds of technologies that are developed in universities and labs around the world, but sometimes you need the help of uh, funding agencies and government agencies to make this thing, these technologies come to the market. And for that, I really applaud the state of Ohio for recognizing the need for technologies such as these and to put in uh, a seed funding there, a sizable amount of seed funding to enable such technologies to do, come to the market. For that, I really applaud the state of Ohio and Nine Sigma for running this competition.